So I'm uh, Dr. Mary Schuler, and I'm in the Department of Cell and Developmental Biology as well as biochemistry and a few other departments. The course I teach is Molecular Cellular Biology 316, which has a title of Genetics and Disease, and it's mostly taught to juniors and seniors. Can you give a brief overview of what is covered in your course? So the course starts out with um, some simple classical genetics, and then we get into more complex uh, sort of genetic problems and then after that I try and um, deal with how um, uh, various genetic diseases um, have had their genes mapped over um, a number of years from a historical perspective and then from a molecular perspective and after that we, at the sort of last third of the course, we get into talking about genetic therapies and what strategies people are using to try and correct genetic defects. What kind of background knowledge does a student need to take this course? So, because most of the students are juniors and seniors in MCB and then from a variety of um, other majors, most of them have had the equivalent of MCB um, 250 series and um, sort of basic molecular biology. What other, in, what other classes in MCB go well with the content you are teaching? Well, I think after people have taken my course, then it becomes easier to take some of the more advanced genomics courses um, that are being taught um, at the 400 level. What should a student do if he or she is having trouble with your course? So we have, um, two or three years ago, we put in discussion sections for the course which build on some of the areas that we're, um, I'm giving lectures in. And in addition to those discussion sections, we have a help session um, once a week that students are free to come to. But we've also set up um, on the Moodle site a sort of question answer uh, forums so that people can submit questions and then the TAs and the other students can help them answer that. So we try and make it very easy to get extra help. What is one thing a student going into your class should know about you? Well, I guess my background is in um, molecular biology and biochemistry in a lot of different systems like animal systems, insect plant systems, and so I've got a, a really broad research experience um, that helps in helps me in teaching um, the topic of genetics and disease. How do topics covered in your course apply to current research, medical, or scientific advancements? So they're, they're very um, relevant because after we get through all of the classical stuff, then um, we've built into the course reading scientific papers and um, added um, students working in groups to do PowerPoint presentations on various sorts of genetic diseases and various sorts of research questions that we pose as possible topics. Um, so it's very, very relevant. But there's a whole continuum as the course goes on where the students learn how to read scientific articles, do PowerPoint presentations, and then they feel much more confident in describing some of these topics to other people.